Hello everybody and welcome to Sneaky Sasquatch. My name is of course Constantine and in this video I decided to create a quick tutorial to show you guys how to get a lot of coin really fast. Now I'm gonna go with only two strategies here. There are quite a lot of ways to make money in this game of course but there are only two ways that I really enjoy doing and I think these are the fastest way to do it. So first of all what you want to do is just grab your fastest car here, upgrade it, and then head on out to the racing tracks. Once you reach the race tracks, what you're going to do is go inside the racing office here. And make sure you start up early in the morning because what you're going to want to do here is just select the mountain pass. I mean, this one is just going to give you 200 coin if you finish it. But don't get scared about this small amount of coin because if you keep on doing this race over and over again for the full day, you will see that you might be able to do about 9 or 10 races in a day, which means about 2,000 coins. And 2,000 coins is not a joke. So just jump straight into the race here and do this one real fast. Now the thing about this race is that you can do this one in 30 seconds. The game here is going to give you about 40 seconds to be able to finish up the race, but I always finish this one up in about 30 seconds or something like that. And this only means that you will be able to finish one of these races every 30 seconds or so. But uh, with the reward animations and stuff like that, I think you are going to get yourself 200 coins every 50 seconds. Look at that, as easy as that, we just got ourselves 200 coins. Now once the race is done and you will be rewarded the money, unfortunately you cannot skip all this and you just gotta wait for the animations to go on so that you can get yourself some money. Alright, and once you're back, just jump straight into the office here, talk to the guy and get yourself another race. Again, go with the mountain pass and keep on doing this one. Alright, there we go. Now, once it gets dark outside, you will notice that the office here is gonna be closed, so you are not gonna be able to do any more races. And what you wanna wanna do next is just go to bed and start up another day. But, before we do that, I do have another strategy that you could use here, just to get some extra coin. So, what you wanna do is go inside the racetrack right up here. And once you reach this location, you will have to wait for just a little bit, or in this case, the raccoon is going to be in the bushes. So just go and talk to the raccoon, and he's going to offer you the possibility to do another race, racing with him and the other animal friends. So just grab this race and um, try to win this, because if you get on first place here, you are going to get yourself 250 coin. <laughs> These golf carts are so slow. Especially that this is not going to give you your upgraded golf cart, it's just going to give you a standard one. And look at that, first place, and we just got ourselves 250 coin extra. Alright, now for the second strategy to making a lot of money here, what you want to do is just drive your way all the way to the town. And once you reach the town, once you reach the gas station, just go inside the gas station here. Uh, what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna get my car ready here because I do want to try two strategies. I want to show you guys two ways of evading the police. Just make your way inside the shop and you will see that you can actually get everything you want from the shells. But what I recommend is not getting everything. What I would like to do instead is just go straight for the beef jerky. As you can see, this is the most expensive product in the shop, and try to make our way out. Now, once you try to get outside of the station, you will see that the gas station attendant will try to stop you and ask you to pay for that. But, what we are going to do instead is just make our way straight for the car, and you will see that the cops are going to come for us, and you will have to just run away. Now, once you exit the location, you will see that the cops are not going to follow you anymore. The cops are only going to follow you where you were previously. Now, there is another way that I like to do in order to get out, uh, because sometimes the cops may spawn straight in front of me, and I'm not going to be able to run with the car, because if one cop touches the car, they're going to automatically kick you out of the car, and they will arrest you, and get everything that you got. So, next up, make your way to the supermarket. Make sure the car is ready to leave, just in case. Although, in this instance right here, I am going to show you another strategy, what you want to do in order to hide from the cops and not to run away from them. So, what you want to do next is just access with the oranges and just steal all the oranges you can get. Just put them all in your backpack. And you might be wondering, why am I getting oranges though? Isn't there any better stuff in the shop that you could get? I mean, there surely must be some more expensive stuff in the shop, right? Well, the thing is, I really consider these oranges to be golden. 
and I will show you in just a second what I'm talking about. Now, once you got all the oranges, of course, you can still keep on shoplifting, keep on getting some more stuff from uh, from the supermarket here, just so that you can fill up your backpack. And uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do, but I'm going to show you what you want to get instead. So what you want to go for is for the products that are 20 coins, and don't just go for the cheaper ones, because the cheaper ones are not going to sell for much. So let's just grab some of that. Let's just grab some of the pizza slices. Let's go back in the fridge here. And once again, you are not going to be able to steal way too much of this because your backpack has a limit. And next up, let's grab the pizzas. Alright, now once you got all this stuff, just try to get out of the store. And once again, you will see that the grocery worker will try to stop you and tell you to uh, go pay for them. But uh, we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to try the second strategy. Instead of jumping in the car and driving off this area, exit a little bit so that the cops are coming for after us. Go back in the shop and then hide in the bathroom. You will notice that the cops are not gonna come after you in the bathroom and even if they come really close to the bathroom door, they're not gonna search for you in there. So look at this. There's one cop looking for us, but he's not gonna be able to find us. And once you just sit in there for long enough, he will eventually back up and he's gonna quit on his pursuit. Alright, so once the cops are done, you can just easily get out of the store and nobody's gonna stop you anymore. It's like you've never been here before. Alright, what you wanna do next is, now that the cops are not chasing you anymore, you can easily fast travel home. Once you are back home, just don't go straight to the bear and sell all this stuff, because you will see in a second what you gotta do with it. It's more important to sell it to somebody else instead of selling it to the bear. So what you wanna do next is just go back home. Access your fridge here, and what you want to do is just store all the stuff that you've stolen. I know this is going to take a lot of time to put all the stuff in the fridge, unfortunately you cannot really put them all in at the same time. Now the reason I want to do this is because I want to go back at the stores the next day and try to keep on stealing the stuff that I told you. Just grab myself some more oranges, grab some more beef jerky and uh, then come back home. And the reason I am putting this inside the fridge and I'm not leaving it in the backpack is not because I want to make some more room for more stuff to steal the next day, but if the cops catch you, they will confiscate everything you stole from the shops, including the stuff that you stole the previous day. So this is why I recommend you guys put all the stuff that you steal inside the fridge before you uh, go out again and start doing some more shoplifting. Alright, now once you're done putting everything in the fridge, I mean look at that. <laughs> That is a really crazy fridge, we got so much stuff in there. What you want to do next is just go back to sleep, restart the day and start up a new day. Now the reason we're doing this is because we want to restart the shop shelves. We want to have some more stuff to steal the next day. Now that we are back with the second or third batch, how many ever you want, just go back home, get back to your fridge and look at this, just fill up your backpack with as many oranges as you can. Alright, so now that you are done taking everything from the fridge, as you can see our backpack is filled up with oranges and beef jerky. What you want to do next is just head on out to the mountain peak. Alright, so once you got yourself to the ski mountain, all you gotta do is get out of the car and make your way to the ski lifts. Now keep in mind, in order to use the ski lifts, you are gonna need a ticket from the ticket shop. Now once you reach the top, all you gotta do is make a right and have a chat with this guy. This guy will tell you that he needs some vitamin C, and in order to get some vitamin C, of course he's gonna buy all the oranges that you got. And I think he's gonna buy them for 50 coins each. And because we do have quite a lot of coins, look at this, this is how easy it is to get yourself a lot of coins. So we got 800 coins for all those oranges in our backpack. So what you wanna do is just sell all the oranges to this guy and get yourself some easy money. Now, before you do anything else, all you gotta do is fast travel all the way back home. And remember that we still have that beef jerky in our backpack, and that's gonna be sold to the bear. So if you wanna try to sell this stuff to the bear, look at this. The bear is actually gonna pay 50 bucks for each one of these beef jerky bags, which means we got another 300 coins. 
Alright, and there you have it guys, these are two easy quick ways that you can get yourself a lot of money in Sneaky Sasquatch. Of course, I still do prefer the first strategy with doing the mountain races because that's just gonna be the easiest way to get your money, but uh, I do also enjoy doing the shoplifting strategy. Anyway, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about these two strategies, and if you have any better strategies, I'd love to hear them down below in the comments. Alright, as usual guys, thank you all very much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it, and of course if you found this useful, please make sure to leave a like down below, and if you guys are new here and haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that, as I'm posting videos just like this one every single day, playing many more indie adventure games and puzzle games I'm pretty sure you all enjoy. Stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next one soon. Bye!